KitchenAid Microwave Model KMHC319KPS Repairs This high-power, 1,000-watt convection over-the-range microwave lets you use it to steam and simmer thanks to a sensor-monitored cooking cycle and an innovative container. A six-speed ventilation fan helps capture smoke, grease, and odors from the cooking surface below, empowering cooks to create with confidence. Stainless steel with print shield finish resists smudges and fingerprints, making cleanup easy. Repairs For the home, kitchen and beyond, KitchenAid manufactures appliances that homeowners have come to trust. Even a trustworthy appliance requires occasional maintenance or repair, however. If you're in need of KitchenAid appliance repair from experienced professionals, your local appliance helper can help. KitchenAid Microwave Not Heating Diode The diode converts the AC power output of the transformer to DC, doubling the voltage to nearly 5,000 volts. This high voltage powers the magnetron to heat the food. If the diode burns out, the magnetron won't receive enough voltage to operate, preventing the microwave from heating. When the diode fails, it is often visibly burned out. Inspect the diode and if the diode is burned out, replace it. If inspecting the diode proves inconclusive, test it with a multimeter that uses a 9-volt battery or put a 9-volt battery in series with the diode. When the leads are reversed, the diode should only have continuity in one direction. Warning. The microwave oven can store a lethal amount of electricity in its high-voltage capacitor, even after the microwave oven has been unplugged. Due to the high running voltage and the potential for electric shock, it is extremely dangerous to replace the electronic components in a microwave. Only a licensed technician should replace the diode. Dot. KitchenAid microwave not working. Line fuse. If too much current passes through the microwave circuitry, the line fuse will blow. If the line fuse blows, the microwave won't start. To determine if the line fuse is at fault, use a multimeter to test it for continuity. If the fuse does not have continuity, replace it. In addition, you should investigate and resolve the problem that caused the fuse to blow. If you don't resolve the underlying issue, the new fuse will blow too. Caution. The microwave oven can store thousands of volts of electricity in its high voltage capacitor even after the microwave oven has been unplugged. Due to the potential for electric shock, it is extremely dangerous to replace the electronic components in a microwave. Only a licensed technician should replace the line fuse. Dot. KitchenAid microwave light bulb not working. Light bulb. The light bulb itself might be burned out. Replace the light bulb before replacing any of the parts associated with the light bulb. KitchenAid microwave shuts off after a few seconds. Door switch. A door switch might be failing intermittently. Check each of the door switches for signs of overheating, arcing, or burning. If you don't see any obvious signs of failure, use a multimeter to test each switch for continuity. If any of the switches is visibly damaged or only has intermittent continuity, replace it. KitchenAid Microwave Turntable Not Turning Turntable Motor Use a multimeter to test the motor for continuity. If the turntable motor does not have continuity, replace it. KitchenAid Microwave Buttons Not Working Touchpad To determine if the touchpad is defective, try pressing each of the buttons on the control panel. If some of the buttons respond correctly while others don't, replace the touchpad. KitchenAid microwave display not working. Main control board. If the display goes out partially, the display board is more commonly at fault. If the display isn't working at all, either the main control board or the display board could be at fault. KitchenAid microwave turns on by itself. Main control board. First, make sure that the touchpad is working properly. If the touchpad is working properly, the main control board is likely at fault. If the control board is defective, replace it. KitchenAid microwave is sparking or arcing. 
Waveguide cover. The waveguide cover might be damaged and shorting out. Try removing the waveguide cover and see if the problem resolves. If the waveguide cover is burnt or will not stay in place, replace it.